Hey y'all, in this video, I would like to talk to you about watching what you say about your marriage. Before we get started, I will go ahead and let you know that I have a litter of puppies. I have nine puppies in the other room right now. So if they make puppy noises, I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can <laughs> to try to film in the house with these dogs. Uh, so anyway, let's get into it. Not everybody is your friend, even though I know we all want to believe <laughs> that these people like us and that they have good intentions, but they don't. Not all of them. On those days where you feel like you really need to vent and you need to get things off your chest because your husband is driving you absolutely insane, just be extremely careful who you talk to. There are people that you'll tell things that will use it against you and hold it against your husband. So even when you're in a place that you feel happy and secure, these people will bring up the stuff that you have told them and try to drive a wedge into your relationship. And there's people who will look at your husband differently. And you have to admit that it's going to be hard, even for you, if you were told these things about your friend's husband, not to look at him differently. And while you may forgive and you just needed to get some things off your chest, the people that you're telling these things to, they don't have to love him and they don't have to forgive him. So you really need to be very careful about what you say and who you tell. I know I keep repeating it, but it's very, very important. There are people that just really will work against you. Not everyone has your marriage's best interest at heart. Even your Christian friends. There are plenty of Christians that kind of sway more towards the world these days and may even encourage you to leave your spouse. And that's not the kind of encouragement that you need, right? You need the kind of encouragement that is biblical and faithful and goes by the word of God. We don't need people that are focused in the world and no girl you do you you don't need to take that blah 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 you're your own woman you can have your own life that kind of you don't need someone pushing you into the world you need people pushing you into the word so there's a big difference and you really need to pay attention to the people that you surround yourself with if someone is nudging you towards leaving Instead of saying, you, let's look at scripture. What does scripture say? Your friends might even believe they have your best interest in heart, but they don't. If they're not opening up this book and trying to lead you to a biblical solution for what's going on in your marriage. Marriage is hard. Marriage is work. And we need people that can help encourage us to stay together. The devil loves to tear a family apart. So just make sure you're not surrounding yourself with people that will help him do his job. And none of us want people talking bad about our husbands behind our backs to other people. And that's what people are going to do. If you're telling them your deep, dark secrets and stuff about your husband that may not even really be that bad, but it's just annoying and you know certain times of the month these things get super annoying they can judge him and think differently of him I mean it could be anything just be very careful and I know I have rambled and said the same thing over and over again <laughs> but I just really want to reiterate to you be careful who you tell not everyone has your best interest at heart. Not everyone is going to support your marriage. And not everyone is going to lead you back to this. And it's very important to have people in your life that will lead you back to the word. 
So I have a little bit of an assignment for you. If you would, when you are annoyed at your husband, get out a notebook, scrap piece of paper, whatever, back of an envelope of a bill and a pen or pencil and just jot down some reasons that you love him. Remind yourself why you love him and some good things about him when you're extremely frustrated. It'll help pull your mind out of the dark place where you're wanting to beat him up inside your head and maybe keep you from word vomiting to somebody who does not deserve to hear about your life. I love you guys. I hope that this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. I love having conversations with y'all and I love when we all engage each other and have deep conversations. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so, so that we can help each other grow in our faith and our walk with God. I am so glad you're here and I hope to see you again next time. Bye y'all.